first DIY, we're going to start off with using this cone-shaped floral foam. And then I'm going to use this pack of uh, wooden beads I got from Michael's like a long time ago. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put them in a bowl and I'm going to separate them from the medium size to the small size beads. And I say that because I used up all the large size beads. But here you can see the difference between the two sizes. And I'm going to be using both of them. Next, I'm going to be using this floral wire that I've had for like ever. Um, I actually recommend using the floral wire from Dollar Tree because it comes like in this like continuous line on a spool. Um, all I had were these like sections of it, but this is what I had to work with. So I'm just kind of making a little bit of a knot, quote unquote, um, so that I can slip my beads through and it's not going to fall out the other side. So as you can see here, I have my little loop to stop my beads from falling out the other side. And I'm just going to go ahead and start with, I can't remember if these are the small beads or I think I actually start with the small beads first here. And I'm just going to loop them through. And if you can hear that noise in the background, my the gardener is at my neighbor's house. So I apologize for all of that. <laughs> um, and basically what we're going to be doing here is we are making a cornucopia. And so I'm just kind of looping the, the beads through and I'm going to use the floral foam to kind of help me wind it and create the shape that I need. And here I'm just adding some hot glue to some of the beads, not all of them, just some of them, just so that they don't move around on me so much. As you can see here, I used a screw to kind of shove that into the floral foam to help me work with these beads a little bit easier. It's what I had. So anyway, like I said, this is not one long continuous piece of floral wire. I had to work with what I had. And because of that, I ended up having to take my pliers and just kind of twist the two pieces around and kind of clamp them shut so that they would just, you know, stay together. But unfortunately, because of all of this, the beads weren't able to slide past that knot. So like I said, if you can find that floral foam from Dollar Tree that's like one long continuous piece, I highly recommend using that instead. So then when um, I got to the bottom, I just kind of clamped this, um, you know, into this like one big knot just to like kind of end it because I didn't want my um, cornucopia to get any wider than this. However, I do end up adding another piece to the very back of this to add smaller beads to it because I needed this to actually be a little bit longer. I just didn't want it wider, if that makes any sense. I'm telling you, this was not the easiest thing to work with, but as you can see here, it's very flimsy. And then I'm just taking my um, pliers and kind of undoing that loop that's at the bottom. And I'm going to add an extra piece of floral wire, wire so that I can add uh, smaller beads so that I can make our cornucopia a little bit longer. And I actually wish I did make this a little bit bigger, but it is what it is. So um, that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just adding another piece of wire adding more beads and then I'm going to add a boatload of hot glue to kind of keep this all from being like an accordion. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep it all together. So this is what it looks like after it's done being completely hot glued. It's not the greatest looking, but you know, it is what I'm working with. <laughs> so the next thing I do is I'm just going in with the Waverly Antique Wax and I'm going to go ahead and paint my beads. Now, ideally I should have painted the beads before I strung them and hot glued everything together, um, but I didn't know how many beads I was actually going to be needed. And then, so yeah, my first thought was to go ahead and paint them and um, wipe them off with a paper towel so it would have more of a stained look. Uh, but that wasn't working out either because then I was afraid that the hot glue was going to, you know, separate and this whole thing was going to fall apart. So I just end up going in and, and just painted it, you know, all brown. I really should have, I really should have thought this through a little bit better. I should have actually watered this down a little bit. So it was more like a stain, but I didn't do that either. I just jumped right in and just started painting. And, um, I'm not even going to say what this actually looks like when I'm done painting it in the antique wax. So I go in with the classic caramel, um, 
paint and I just do some bri bri dry brushing over this entire thing just to kind of lighten up the look a little bit. And then I just take some fall picks from Dollar Tree, just clip off the ones that I want and then just hot glued everything inside of it and call this project done. For the second DIY, I used this tray from Dollar Tree, barn red apple barrel paint, and some Waverly antique wax. And I'm going to mix the two paints together and um, just to give it that nice uh, brownish red color that I am looking for. And I go over this entire tray. Well, okay, not the entire tray, just the outer rim of this tray. I do two coats. I don't bother painting the inside because I'm going to be decorating it and it would just be a waste of paint. So now going in with this black acrylic paint and my stencil brush, um, I'm just doing some dried brushing, really focusing around the edges. And um, I really wanted to bring the detail of this tray out because I thought it was really pretty. And then the next thing I do is I use the um, elephant chalk paint and do the exact same thing. So next I have this sign from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be hot gluing it in the middle. But before I do that, I've got a couple of Jenga blocks that I'm going to hot glue in the center of the tray first. And that will um, kind of help our sign sit a little bit more flat in the center. Again, going in with the Dollar Tree fall picks, I just used some of the ones that had the pumpkins in them and the uh, pine cones. I just used my wire cutters, clipped, up, clipped them off separately um, so that I could place them where I wanted them to go. And then I also went in with the, um, the bright sunflowers and I you know, arranged everything where I wanted them to be. And when I figured that out, I went ahead with my hot glue and glued everything down. For our third and final DIY, I have this wood slice. It's about an inch thick, and um, I got this from my backyard. My husband was gracious enough to go ahead and use his chainsaw and cut it up for me. <laughs> that was so sweet of him. Um, but anyway, I know that you can get these wood slices, you know, from Walmart or, you know, online. I think Amazon probably has them or something, but this came from my backyard, and so it cost me nothing. And now using this glass vase that I had found over at Dollar Tree, wishing that I had grabbed at least one more so that I'd have a nice little set, but this is what I have. And then I'm just using these popcorn kernels that are found in the snack section over at Dollar Tree. Opening up the bag and I'm going to um, just dump some of them into the glass vase. And of course you can fill this up as much or as little as you want. And I think it just kind of depends on the size of your candle. I wish I had a taller candle, but again, working with what I have. Uh, so I just poured the popcorn kernels in, into the vase and kind of shake it around a little bit just so it sits nice and even. And then once I got that, I go ahead and insert my candle. So now taking this jute twine, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it about several times around this face and then hot glue it in place. Now going in with these uh, fake fall leaves from Dollar Tree, I'm just going to go and put a little bit of time, um, hot glue, glue those two together, and then a little bit more hot glue and glue it onto the twine. Yeah. 
Then I took some more jute twine and tied a simple little bow. It's just as simple as tying your shoes and then hot glued that onto the leaves. This is how everything came together in the end. I am loving the fall colors and even more so loving that candle. I think probably my favorite out of all three. Let me know in the comments section which one was your favorite. Also, tell me, do you plan to decorate for the fall? Do you do pumpkins, sunflowers, trucks, scarecrows? Do you decorate at all? This year, I'm probably loving the sunflowers the most. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you plan on staying and clicking that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye.